generation. Blue pill in the fucking matrix. Red rose in the gray pavement. Young black nigga trapped. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm listening to uh, a song from Nipsey Hussle's latest CD or album, The uh, Victory Lap. I uh, purchased some songs from that uh, from his latest album. Uh, I don't know if you guys are aware or, or updated with your updated with the uh, Nipsey Hussle's case. Uh, as you know, or if you don't know, I'm going to let you guys know that, uh, the suspected killer, or alleged killer of Nipsey Hussle, Eric Holder, he has, uh, basically, uh, acquired the services of, uh, the former prosecutor in the O.J. Simpson's trial back in the uh, mid-90s, uh, Christopher Dorden. So, uh, it's this guy right here in the middle. There's Johnny Cochran here. And I guess that's Marsha Clark right here. She was the prosecutor, uh, the one who was the chick that uh, was prosecuting OJ, and that was her assistant prosecutor. And of course, Johnny Cochran was OJ's attorney. But anyway, the guy, uh, Mr. Christopher Dorden, he is the he's currently representing Eric Holder. He is his defense attorney because he's gravitated or went over to the side side of, of the uh, defense. He's no longer state prosecutor uh, Christopher Dorden who two decades ago helped prosecute OJ Simpson on murder charges in the trial of the century has just just stepped into another high profile celebrity homicide case this time he's a defense attorney representing the man charged with killing rapper Nipsey Hussle Eric Holder, 29, was charged in L.A. County Superior Court on Thursday with one count of murder, two counts of attempted murder, and one count of possession of a firearm by a felon in Hustle's shooting death Sunday. As, okay, like I said, and it, who is, I explained to you guys uh, a, little bit, a little bit about Christopher Durden. Uh, but he, you know, he became, uh, an international name, uh, like I say, during the 1995, uh, O.J. Simpson trial. Uh, and as you know, uh, O.J. Simpson was accused of stabbing, uh, to death his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ronald, uh, Lyle, uh, Goldman. So, like I said, he, he was the assistant prosecutor, uh, to Marsha Clark, whom she was the main prosecutor. Uh, and the two of them, Marsha Clark and uh, uh, Christopher Dordham, were they were going up against O.J. Simpson's attorney. They were known or dubbed or coined the Dream Team. But yeah, he's the, he's going to represent, he is representing uh Eric Holder and his next court appearance is uh, May 10th and apparently his bail is 5 million but some people say his bail is at 5 million some say 7 million this article which is has been released as a New York Los Angeles Times article they are claiming that his bail, let me see where it is. I think it said his bail is at five million also. Yeah. So, uh, uh, it doesn't say exactly, but yeah, some, uh, news outlets, uh, basically said that uh, Mr. Uh, Holder's bail is at five million, some say seven. 
and also I looked up some stuff on uh, I also found out about uh, according to Hip Hop DX that Nipsey Hussle's family planning they are planning for a massive Nipsey's massive funeral and it says here Los Angeles, California Nipsey Hussle had an obvious profound influence on his community fans and close friends so his family is in search of a venue that can seat anyone whose life he's positively impacted to allow for them an opportunity opportunity to attend his funeral procession according according to TMZ venues that barely hold 2000 2000 aren't cutting it they're looking to accommodate more than 15,000 people for for Nip Hustle the great memorial service Possible ideal location locations include the Forum in Inglewood, California, the Hollywood Bowl, or the Staples Center, where Michael Jackson's memorial took place. The Grammy Award-nominated recording artist born Ermius Ostrom Ostrom lost his life on Sunday, March 31st, at age 33, in front of his Slauson. Avenue Marathon Clothing Store located near Los Angeles Crenshaw District. The thousands of mourners who showed up to the candlelight vigil held in front of his store on Monday, April 1st, demonstrated a clear need for a large space. The vigil was suddenly disrupted, however, caused the Los Angeles Police Department to step in and restore order. Nip's family is looking to secure a venue big enough within the next two weeks. He is survived by his daughter, Imani, and son, Cross, whom he shares with his longtime girlfriend, Lauren London. Nip's alleged killer, Eric Holder, pled not guilty on Thursday, April 4th, and is being held on a $7 million bond. Holder is due back in court on May 10th. So, here it is, guys. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. I'm an engineer, pick a side, I got a 
keep it there. Switching up, nigga, look at where. I got the key to the city. I got a hold of city. Talk to that bitch in Swahili. Tattoo my name in graffiti. Whack at your hood in graffiti. Cut to your hood on the weekly. It was a genius, man. He's making some moves, man. You know. I pray for, you know, his family and, you know, wish I could be there to console them, you know, to, uh, you know, I figure I, I uh, show my support and by purchasing these songs and, you know, and also doing this video and it's been basically been talking about uh, his life, you know, his tragic, his, his accomplishments, but also his tragic end. I've been, you know, uh, really focused on his life, you know, for the last, uh, since Sunday. So, this Sunday will be uh, one week. So... We love you, young brother. We love you. Peace. Rest in paradise.